Hello everyone, welcome back to Downfall. Alright, very nice thing happened. Uh, I did a little bit of work and figured out a way to actually record the audio of my, mi of my microphone to a separate track. So now it's going to have a compressor added to it, so it should sound better. And all the audio should be properly mixed. So, that's, that's really awesome. That's a weight off my mind, I'm much happier about these videos now. Also, I realized something that you can do that's really cool with OBS. Look at this. Stare into the void. Look at it. Yeah, so it, it seems like it just captures whatever's in front of the window. So let me just move that off to the side. There we go. Okay. Back to where I was. Right, so I need to kill the... The memories of, what was it, Sophie Chavert? And how many versions of her were there? I think there are four, right? And I need to kill them all? Let's go make sure about that. I can feel her pain, eating her from inside, eating me alive. What was it again that I have to do? Please advise. Kill all four memories of Sophie Chavert. Okay, yep. Kill me first. Alright, she really wants to die. Right, so she wants to go without pain. Do I have the way to do that in my inventory right now? The only way I see how to kill her is with rat poison, which does not sound painless. What is a painless way to die that I could do? A bullet to the head? I don't have a gun. Cutting off her head? I don't have a knife. I don't know. I'll try the rat poison. Click, click, can I... Do I drag it? I can't seem to click these things. Hello? Hello? Game? I think I'm supposed to go to sleep. That's weird, I can't seem to use any of these things. Alright, let's just try going to sleep. Actually, wait a minute. Should I? Didn't the girl in there mention her being... Like, Sophie was... Through the mirror? Let me go back to that spot. Where was that? I think it was accessed from the staircase. I'm seriously not feeling well. It won't do much harm if I lie down for a few minutes, will it? My head is just killing me. Okay, okay. Time to sleep. Sweet dreams. Joe. Joey. Come to me. I'm waiting. Let's die together. Don't you just wish? Don't you just wish we could vanish? Never draw a breath. Never face this cruel reality again. Because I do. All the time. Well, that was a good sleep. What an awful dream. But the headache's gone. And somehow I feel stronger. <laughs> You feel stronger and your headache's gone after having that kind of a dream? Okay. Let's go ahead and save. I know, I feel great after I have those dreams filled with loved ones murdering themselves. Well, I feel so good, I'm gonna have a kettle and some biscuits. Get me them digestives. Aww. Let's see if the girl's still in here. Yeah. Can I use stuff now? No, I hope this isn't bugged out. Because I don't seem to be able to use stuff anymore. Unless I've totally forgotten how to play the game, I'm pretty sure you use stuff by clicking on it and then you move it towards what you want to use it on. Pretty simple. But I'm clicking and nothing's happening. I hope the game isn't bugged. Alright, let's go check out the mirror. 
which is where here. Twilight Lounge. Yeah, I think it's over here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Why can't I use items? I'm really suspecting it's bugged. Let me just check. Alright, so let's load like... Let's load like game 6. Okay, can't use stuff. Game 5. Can't... Use stuff. Am I going crazy? Did I forget how to play the game? I'm pretty sure I didn't forget how to play. Like, look at this. This is before- this is when I need to give the key to the cat. Am I unable to do that? What the fuck? Yeah, some, something's wrong. I can't use items. I need to give the key to the cat at this point in the game, but I can't do it. What the hell? Yeah. Uh, Alright, so let me try restarting the game. Start it up again here. There we go, nice and quick. Is it actually working? The recording, I mean? Yep, looks like it's good to go. Okay. What the fuck happened? How come I can no longer use items? I did nothing to my computer in between playing this game last time and playing it now. Or did I just forget how to play? There's no way! What else are you supposed to do other than click on them? Alright. Well, this is a conundrum. I'll be right back when I figure this out. Alright, welcome back. You would not believe how I fixed this issue. So, loading old save games did nothing. What I did is I started a new game, which then made the inventory work, and then loaded the same saved games that didn't work, but since I had started a new game, now they work. Yeah. I don't get it, but... It's working! Just don't say a thing, don't think about it. If I don't believe the bug exists, it doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. It'll never happen again. Well, actually, even if it happens again, I could always just start a new game and then load my game back up. That is one of the strangest bugs I've ever seen. Thankfully minor, but one of the strangest. Alright, so now that I can actually use stuff, let's go... Well, let's check out the mirror while I'm here. But I want to try using the rat poison on her. Large mirror, there's something strange about it. It's almost as if... Uh, almost like I can see something on the other side. All right, so it doesn't look like I—it uh, doesn't look like I can do anything with it yet. Let's go back to her. Would you like some rat poison? I swear it's painless. I better keep this rat poison. I might need it later. Of course. Oh, maybe I can give, give her a cigarette and she'll die slowly if... Oh, that's not a painless death, is it? Do you want a nasty fish? Nope, alright, so I need something. You know, I don't know if I ever tried moving this valve. What does this valve do, anyway? Lift the cage up? Well, what for? It's locked. I know, I'll use my room key on it. Aw. You mean the key for something completely different didn't work on this thing? How disappointing. And unexpected. All 
Alright, well, I'm supposed to kill her first. But it's possible I can go to the other floors. So let's try that. This is floor one. That's ground floor back down. Let's go to two. Oh, here we go. More bloody rooms. Literally. Literally, literally bloody rooms. There's nothing particularly interesting about this door. I just hope it's not locked. It's funny, you know you're living in a fucked up world when you say there's nothing particularly interesting about a door that has blood all around it. When that becomes the norm, something's very wrong. Oh, think about that. Strange noise is coming from behind this door. It sounds like grinding teeth. But maybe it's just snoring? Ugh. Let's go ahead and save it. And then go inside. The door's locked. Damn it. Hit the door with a fish. Open up, motherfucker. I can't use the fish with the room 201. Uh, 203. Well, damn. That's it. I'm out of ideas. Whoa. Are those supposed to be vines, or is it just like green bile? Judging by the sort of rainforesty sound, I would say it's probably vines. A saw. <laughs> well, I think I have one of my murder, murder weapons. It's a dried up body of the hotel's maintenance man. I searched through his pockets and found nothing useful. It's a small mechanical saw that most likely belonged to that dead maintenance guy. There it is. A small saw. It probably wouldn't kill a human, but it can still cut through things. Probably wouldn't kill a human. Are you sure about that? That looks like it would kill a human. I'm pretty sure a saw of really pretty much any size would kill a human, eventually. Mirror. What a strange mirror. It seems pretty solid. <laughs> Not after I used the saw on it. Aw. What about the fish? Aw. I know, I'll poison the mirror. Yeah, that'll show it. No, no, no. What the hell? This is room where she was rejected. Room where she died. How do I know this? I mean, how does my character know this? I guess it's one of those dream things where you just know something is true even if you... Even if you don't... Even if you haven't actually seen the evidence to lead you to that conclusion, you just know it's true. Let's, uh, let's go to the other floor first. <laughs> Great. There's doors on the ceiling. Let's do a door to the room 401. I must be going mad. A door on the ceiling. Is there another room up there? Notice. It's a fire evacuation plan for the building. I don't want to know the fire procedures. I actually wish this damn hotel burned to the ground. Me too, at this point. Although preferably not with my wife inside of it. Door cannot be up there. This hotel must be messing with my head. There's a gap at the bottom of the door. Hmm. It's not big enough to put my hand inside. Wait, it's not big enough to put my hand inside? Bullshit! You could put your foot inside of that hole. There's definitely... Uh, there's definitely a key inside this lock, but on the other side of the door. 
Hmm, is it going to be the good old put a piece of paper or something beneath here and push the lock through and then pull it back? Or maybe I can just cut off the lock. Apparently not. Actually, maybe this menu. Huh? Ah. ah. I put leaf I put leaflet under door. What next? Sorry, the grammar in this game sometimes just cracks me up. It sounds very brutish. So, how would I push it through? I guess with my ill-fitting key, maybe? My key seems to be able to fit into this lock. It won't turn, but I can hear the key on the other side of the door has been pushed out and fell on the leaflet. Sweet! You know, the only reason I thought of that is because of, uh... Um... Penumbra... which one was it? One of the Penumbra games. Either Overture or Black Plague. Which one was it? I can't remember which one it was. I want to say Black Plague. But yeah, one of the Penumbra games. You have to put a piece of paper underneath the, the gap in the door and push it on through. I'm sure it's been used in a lot of other adventure games, though. I'll just slowly pull it out now. And there it is. Success! Let's explore the rest of this place before I go inside. <laughs> Look at this door, you can only see the top of it. Looks like the rest of it is under the floor. Wonderful. Bizarre. Hammer and a fire alarm. It's a small hammer used for breaking the glass on the fire alarm. Let's go ahead and take it. I'd have to break the glass cover to push the button, but I don't really want to do it. Yeah, there's no reason to do that yet. Might be able to use this hammer for... something. Room 666. I can only imagine all the dark secrets contained within. Let's go inside! Locked. Aww. Well, nothing interesting. Another locked door. Alright, let's go inside. Hold on. I think I need to get in on just the right pixel for the lock. Right there. Huh. So this is a pretty interesting room. <clears throat> I don't mean to um interrupt what you're up to, ma'am. But uh I'm going to leave now. I'm just thinking whether I have the stuff to kill the first one, painlessly. I don't think I do. The only new stuff I have is the hammer and the saw. And it says the saw probably wouldn't kill a human. And the hammer is... I, I don't think that would do anything. In these circumstances, I'd find a fire axe much more useful, though. No kidding. Let's go have a chat. There's nothing important at the doll. Looks like the room of a mentally... Mentally strong, healthy person. It's a baby elephant doll. It's been taped to the wall. Ugh. Right. Well, hopefully she doesn't stab me. Hi. It's her. She won't talk to you, Joe. Oh, God, the thing on the wall is talking to me. It's too late for her. 
She's in the world of anger and hatred now. That murderous bitch. Oh shit. I accidentally skipped it. A young lass like this. She should burn in hell, Joe. Yes, there is no room for her in the world of the living. You know what to do, Joe. We've been waiting a long time for you to turn up. But the judgment day has finally come. Tear her to pieces, my boy. For all those hours when she cut my dead body with the razors. For burning me with a lighter. For leaving me in the dark cupboards for months. For taking me eye out with a kitchen fork. For sticking dirty needles in my head. Kill her! Kill her! Kill her! And make it a cruel death, as she deserves nothing less than the worst kind of suffering. Cut through her ugly body. Let us all find that there's no heart inside. Split her in half, and as the skin splits, her wicked soul will split as well. Right. Okay. I'm supposed to kill the other one first, but I could try cutting her s with a saw. You want to cut the bitch with that toy? Think again, Joe. Before you do any damage to her, she'll stick that knife right between your ribs. You need a bigger caliber. A kind of saw that would cut through the elephant's legs. Fine. Alright, fair enough. That was pretty stupid. Didn't think it would work. Time to check out these. Rumor she died, rumor she was rejected. Rumor she was rejected. <laughs> Mr. Harris, guest? Guest, guest? Aw, oh, there's balloons. I wonder what color they are. I can't tell because it's black and white. A party wouldn't be, wouldn't be complete without a couple of balloons. Indeed, indeed. I'll leave them where they are. They're probably filled with some poisonous gas. Most likely. I'm guessing that's Sophie who's been... rejected. Blank-faced man. He reminds me of the ones from the dining room. They're just standing there in silence. They do like the they do look like the people from the dining room. Like they're in suits and then they have the blank masks on. Painting of an old of a man holding a cat. Whoop. Red wine. I'm not really sure if it's wine or blood. I better leave it where it is until I need it. Of course, I might... I might never do? I think he meant to say I might never need it. When I come closer, I'm not that sure if it's been cooked, actually. It's filled with some black substance. I assume it's gravy. <laughs> I'll leave it there in case one of those strange people wants some gravy. Yes, wouldn't want to take away the gravy from the strange, faceless, bloody guests. There must be something special under it. Ooh, can I see? Surprise, surprise. A fucking head. What else could it be? Head on a plate? Maybe a bit of a cliché. But it's still not a nice sight. I just hope no one was seriously thinking about eating it. I don't want it. But I'll take it with me anyway. <laughs> okay. What the hell do I do with a head? Play basketball with it? I don't think it'd bounce very well. <laughs> Mr. Harris. Is he a memory too? Let's find out. Hello there. Do I know you? Hmm. Hmm. A lot of different ways I can answer this. I'm 
I'm gonna be a dick for some reason. Let's just see what happens with that. None of your business, mate. You better watch out, mate. Everything here is my business. Everything. I paid for this party, and I also paid for the security staff. And my security knows how to deal with people like you, mate. Alright, alright. Now let's rub the rat poison in his face. TV screen. Those are TV screens? The strange wall seems to be made of TV screens. I didn't even realize those were screens. They just look like bricks. I can see a figure of a woman if I look closely. But maybe it's just my eyes playing up. Save it before I talk with her. It's Sophie. She seems to be in her early 20s this time. She's crying, but no one seems to care. Well, I can talk with her, but again, I think I'm supposed to... The other... The first girl said I should kill her first. But... Let's have a chat. You must be Sophie. Am I right? Yes. And no, but... Maybe I am. Oh, shit, I skipped something. But he calls me ugly. So maybe that's what my name is. Why would anyone call you ugly? Maybe that's because... I'm so fucking ugly. Who calls you that? Steve Harris, my agent. And love of my life. He's around here somewhere. Isn't he lovely? Just look at him. No, he's a douchebag. <laughs> Who's this party for? It's my 21st birthday party. Feel free to treat yourself to a drink or something. <laughs> she tells me as she's sobbing. Hey. I'm 21 today and I'm so fucking sad I don't want to live no more. If only I could be fat, I'd be happy. I'm sure I would. <laughs> Quiet now, you silly skinny bitch. You don't deserve your beautiful and kind Mr. Harris. You disgust me. No, stop it. You're dis- Shut up! Just shut up! It's okay now. She's gone. What is it you were asking? <laughs> I could say happy birthday. Um... I could try to tell her she looks fine. I doubt it's gonna work, but I honestly can't see anything wrong with you, girl. Yeah? Then you must be fucking blind. I've tried to gain some weight, but I'm still this skinny little freak no matter what I do. You see? I just want Steve to love me. He's all I have. He's my whole world. But he likes his girls bigger, and I'm just his ugly friend. I keep asking him to punch me in my ugly face, and he does. I bleed, and I love every bruise Steve gives me. He wouldn't touch me if I was that disgusting, would he? One day I'll be big and fat. One day. Maybe then. Oh my god. Wow. I feel bad for Sophie. If this is if this even resembles anything like what she's actually had to deal with. Of course I don't know if it does, because this is some insane nightmare world, but I'm assuming it refle reflects uh reality, at least somewhat. Well, perhaps I should bring you something to eat. Something high in fat and carbohydrates. Yes, yes, yes. Feed me. Please. If I had to die, I imagine I'd die eating. What a perfect way to leave this fucked up world. Feed me. I have to eat. Okay. Happy birthday. Just let me die. I'm so lonely. Do I have to feed her, like, rat poison mixed with fish? 
that's pointless. Well, apparently not. How about a human head mixed with rat poison? Hmm. Let's talk to Mr. Harris. I'm not sure if all of the saving is really necessary, because I still don't know if you can actually die. But just in case. Do I know you? Hmm. I could tell him I'm her lover. He wouldn't like that, would he? Let's try it. In fact, I am Sophie's lover. Yes, I'm her secret lover. You're making me laugh, you are. No, wait. You're making me fucking angry. Get the fuck out of here, you half-brained idiot. I want to punch him in the face. I better keep the saw. Alright. Room where she died. This is from the dream. Yeah, this is what I saw in the dream. When he was sleeping. She broke it. That's seven years bad luck, they say. She's sitting in a bath full of dark water. Her wrists slashed. It's probably full of water. The pills she'd taken probably caused some painful diarrhea. And then death. Ugh. Jesus Christ, painful diarrhea and then death on the toilet? That's not a good way to go. So. Wrists slashed. Pills. Gun. I don't know what the hell these were. Different ways to die. Pot of pills. She must have taken those pills. Then she sat on the toilet, fell asleep, and never woke up again. There's still some inside here. The pot is empty. It's no use to me. Oh torn out page. It's a page torn out of Sophie's diary. My extra fattening smoothie recipe. Put a large amount of meat, fat, and bones in a bowl. Mix it up. Add alcohol. One pint of oil. Mix it up again. Drink quickly. What the fuck? That does say bones, right? Meat, fat, and bo- How do you drink bones? I don't understand. The diary belonged to Sophie. October 21st. I need to eat. Mr. Harris brought me some meat today. He told me I had to eat it all. He is so wonderful and caring. If only he could realize how much I love him. He seems oblivious to the promises he made. But it's okay. I need to eat, I know. The meat he gave me looks funny. It's grayish in color and smells like a dog. Eat! Eat, you skinny, ugly cow! October 28th. It rains again. I saw my dear... My dear Mr. Harris down the hall again. He wasn't alone. She was with him. I hate her so much. They laughed at me. I hate her, I hate her, I hate her! I'm back in my room now. It's still raining. It's dark and quiet. I keep wondering if it hurt... If it hurt much if I just put the gas on and fell asleep. October 30th. I'm still not fat enough for my dear Mr. Harris. Why is it in all caps? My dear Mr. Harris. Is it meant to be shouted? Maybe I never will be. When I look in the mirror, all I see is skin and bones. Dear Diary, I cut my wrists today. It hurt. And I bled. But I'm still here. I'm still here. There's a place I go when I'm sad. Only I can enter it. 
others can't see it. All they see is a mirror. It's my emerald mirror. I know the way to open it. This little secret. Only my silver necklace can open the emerald mirror. I've had it since I was a little girl. My beautiful necklace. It reminds me of the times when I first got here. It was the only thing I brought with me. Only that dirty gray dress, a pair of black boots, and my little magic necklace. I think I was happy then. Right, so I can get that from the little girl. The one that I need to kill. I'd rather browse through it here than carry it with me. Fair enough. Shotgun. A suicide weapon. Is it loaded? The shotgun can shoot two shells at the same time, making it an extremely powerful weapon. Unfortunately, the barrel is empty. Damn it. It's quite obvious that she's she'd blown her head off with that shotgun. This one's already dead. This one's already dead, of course they're all dead. Well, except for this one, who apparently has a beating heart. What's the oven doing here? Nothing happens. I'll turn it off for now. This one is still alive. She opened her stomach with a knife and suffers from a horrible pain. Sophie. Pain. Give me. More. Pain. They've all let me down. Every single one of them. Oh, am I asking for too much? I just want, I want to die. Please, somebody kill me. Oh, the pain is so unbearably sweet. You know, I tried. I really tried. Somebody kill me. Please. Please? I uh, use the saw? <laughs> I don't know. Shotgun's unloaded. Anyway, again, I'm not. I'm supposed to kill the little girl first. I can't use the saw with. I can't use the saw with the Sophie. <laughs> what? I can't use the saw with the Sophie. Damn it, the Sophie. Why won't you the die? Hold on, just a second, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. So, can I, like, stick my hands inside of her gaping wound? No. Which is good, because that would be disgusting. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do in here at the moment water tank. I wonder if I need to use a water tank for something. Can't reach it. Alright, let's go back to her. And see if I can find a way to kill her. If only I had ammo. Nope. Saw? Nope. You know, let's try to go outside. Outside the hotel. Because I don't think anything I have here is, could possibly do it painlessly. I don't have any shells for the shotgun. The saw is too small. The rat poison would probably not be a painless death. Anyone at the front desk? Can I get some service around here? Jesus. The little door on the clock is locked tight. Easy. Bash it open. Nope. Saw it open. 
Nope. Alright, what can I open with a saw? I'm guessing I need to open something. Can't leave now. What about the garden? Oh, I can finally check out the garden. Sweet. That is a very strangely colored wall. Looks rather bloody. Bin. It's an empty bin. I can see it's empty. There's no point sticking my hands inside. Alright, fair enough. Wait, what did that just say? That just said I can't do anything with the... What am I clicking on to make that happen? I'm not sure, but I think it said I can't do anything with the space period, and that was it. Just empty. Weird. <laughs> Rope. I wonder what that could be used for. I believe this once used to be part of part of a children's swing. And now it's going to be used to kill children. Yay. This bench has been dedicated to the memory of Michael Rich. There's no time to sit. Besides, the weather is crap. I think that's all there is here. Not much of a garden, that's for sure. All I found was a rope, a bench in the rain, a shitty looking tree, an empty bin, and a bloody wall. Blocked road. Hmm. What, the, what about the town center? Perhaps I should stay in the area of the hotel for now. Okay. Right, so I have a lot of stuff. The question is, what the hell do I do with it? Can I hang her? That could be a painless death if you do it just right and break the neck. Wait a minute, what about the dining room? Anything in here? It's locked. Saw it open? No. Can I saw apart the saw apart the bodies? No. Alright, let's try the rope. I better get this rope, I might need it later. Hmm. It's covered in rust and won't budge. Hit it with a hammer. No. Yeah, there's so many things that I have, I'm just not sure what to do with it all. Do you know anything about a... a silver necklace? Yes, of course. But how did you know about it? Ah, one of those crazy bitches must have told you. Actually, I read about it in a diary you've been writing. Later in life. Oh, I just skipped it. Damn it. Who am I kidding? I guess this is what will happen. But I can't give you the necklace. 
It's the only thing I've got now. It keeps me sane. I want to hold on to it until the minute I die. Try to understand. I really need it, Sophie. I'm sorry. No. Alright, how'd you want to die? I just, I think she says just painless. I'm afraid of pain. Hmm. Yeah, kill all four memories, but kill me first. So much stuff. But what do I do with it? Well, I'm going to figure that out, and I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I ended up having to look at a walkthrough to figure out what to do, because I completely just... I couldn't find it. I tried using everything on everything, I just walked around. Then I thought, okay, this is a waste of time. So yes, I learned that I'm supposed to go to this room. Room 201. Which has Dr. Z in it. I completely forgot Dr. Z even exists. Or even that he's in room 201. Feels like ages ago that I learned that. And uh, while trying to figure this out, by the way, I ended up hitting that bug again. Where I couldn't click on my inventory items. I really hope that doesn't keep happening. Yeah, it seems like the fix to that is to start a new game. And I just realized this. You have to start a new game and you have to use... You have to click on... Your cigarette, which is the only item you have in the beginning of the game. For it to work. That seems like that's what you have to do. I tried starting a new game without clicking on the cigarette. Didn't work. Did it again, but clicked on it, and it did work. I have no idea. It's like it needs to be reinitialized or something. Anyway. Well, judging by this room, I would say Dr. Z is a perfectly well-adjusted... Fellow. Ooh, let's pull this lever. Nothing happened. Aw. Glass bowl. I have to be careful not to break it. Bunch of books here. Slaughterhouse number five. A wartime story with a twist. Solaris. Solaris. One of the few positive titles here. I'm surprised to see the Doctor is a Pratchett fan. A, a Pratchett's fan? Wouldn't that be Pratchett fan? Lizzie's story? Lizzie's story? I've already got a special edition at home. Oh, there's a bunch here. The Color of Magic. I love to read it again, but not today. Tough but rewarding. Shining. Is it better than Stanley Kubrick's film? Satanic versus. <laughs> Tough but rewarding. The Water Method Man. He seems to have quite a good taste in literature. Geralt's Game, Downwards to Earth. Dark Room. Frankenstein, that's a classic. Just making sure I can still use my inventory items. Yes, I can. Poster. It's showing all the muscles in the human body. This isn't a good time to learn about human anatomy. This looks like a crazy torture chair. Even though it looks like an electric chair, I'm pretty sure it's got quite an opposite effect. Hmm. It's all in German, but I believe it's a medical school... Diploma? It's a book with a red cover. There's no title on it. Put it right back! This is a very... Important... Look? I'm supposed to say book. Maybe when we know each other better, I might lend it to you. Or maybe not. Okay, then. I won't touch your look. I won't touch your look. Some people are particular about their hair. They don't want to be touched. I get it. I won't touch your look. It's a battery for the chair. ECG machine. There's a screen on it which displays the person's heartbeat and pulse rate. 
Obviously, the line is flat at the moment. Mannequin torso. It's a mannequin with some body parts missing. Oh, that's comforting. Can't do anything with it. Syringe. What the hell is that stuck in? Syringe is stuck in one of the mannequins. There's something strange and creepy about this mannequin. But aren't they all strange and creepy? There's a syringe stuck into man... <laughs> I'm sorry, these... Just the way these are written just keep cracking me up. I'm trying to look over it, but it's really hard not to just bust up laughing. When I see something that says, There's a syringe stuck into mannequin's arm. It just sounds really strange. Like, that's, that's its name. Its name is Mannequin. Empty syringe with a needle. It's stuck in the mannequin's arm. Let's take it. Yoink. Let's fill it full of rat poison. No, oh, didn't work. It's a bit dusty. He's using a German version of Windows. I can't understand anything. Looks like that's it in here, aside from him. Wait a minute, control panel. I think this might be the main control panel for that chair. Alright, let's have a chat. Well, let's save. The save directory is full, you must replace an existing save. Uh... Okay. Hello, Doctor. What? Can you get to the point, boy? I'm busy. What do you want? I need your help, Doctor. Yes. Be quick. I have no time. Do you know some way to painlessly kill someone? Ha! <laughs> oh, shit, I just skipped it. But I happen to have been a surgeon in my time, and I might know the answer to it. Lethal injection is what you're looking for. I also happen to have in my possession required chemicals. That will do the job beautifully. But there's a catch. What do you want for it? Nothing, really. Well, one little favor. You see, I stored this chemical in the cellar. You'll need to get down there and fill a syringe. Once you're at it, you can bring something back for me. I don't really want to come out of this room. I'm a man dedicated to his mission. If something happens to me, who will complete the experiment? What is it that you want me to bring? Hmm. I can't really tell you now. But you will know. Oh yes. You will know when you see it. Take this. Take, take <laughs> the grammar again. Take this as key to the cellar. Don't lose it. Okay, I, I won't. I won't as I lose it. Syringe and needle should be here somewhere. All right, I'll leave now. All right, well, I don't need a separate needle, right? I mean, it has one on it. I think. Alright, cellar key. Where the hell's the door of the cellar, though? Oh, I know where it is. It's in the stairwell. Yeah, it's here, right? Yeah, cellar door. I kind of want to delete these. I don't know what the hell these mods 1, mods 2 are. Can I... Wait, can I not delete them? Well, at least I can't hear. I'm worried I'm going to screw myself over if I keep replacing the latest save. It doesn't look like I actually can delete them. Right. I'll just keep replacing it. Oh, 
Let me confirm that my replacing of the save is actually working. Okay, good, it is. I'm a little bit suspicious about this game when it comes to its technical prowess. That is, I don't really trust it not to completely ruin all of my saves and screw me over. Huh. The hell? Did someone wash blood? Fucking disgusting. Shelves, shelves, more shelves. They're full of items. All of them, unfortunately, quite useless. Can of oil. It's a can of industrial oil. Can of industrial oil. Maybe I can use that to uh, lube the crank thing on the cage thing next to the girl. He did say it was rusty. Hole. And a plank. Long plank of wood. There's something down there. Maybe another room? It's broken. It had probably been brought down from the laundry room to be mended. But they never did. Sheets? <laughs> Why does it have a question mark? Old dirty sheets are spread over the furniture. In a way, it looks like there are people underneath. But they don't move. No. It's just old broken furniture. Nothing less. Nothing more. Oh, those totally don't look like a huge crowd of shadowy, shrouded figures staring at you. No. Not at all. Pipe. These pipes with hot water warm up the whole cellar. Do I actually have to go down the hole? I guess I do, because I'm down here and I don't see my substance that I so desperately need. Alright, here we go. It's too high to jump to- alright, uh, rope? I can't use the rope of the hole. What the fuck's it for, then? Man! Saw the hole? I can't use the saw with the hole. Oh my god, what, what is up with the inventory? Look at this, the plank- the plank of wood is like two pixels down here, next to the toast. I select the plank by moving my mouse over the cigarette, right here. If I mouse over the plank, it's not even selecting it. It's so weird. Alright, uh... He said I'd know it when I see it. So what is it that he did want? The plank of wood? The oil? <laughs> Where's my substance? It's gotta be down the hole, I guess. Is there nothing else here? Shelves, stairs, shelves, stairs, hole, sheets, pipe. That's it. Do I need to combine the rope with something to anchor it to? Do we need to anchor it to a pipe? The rope just isn't long enough. Hmm. Try tying it to everything. Shelves? That would just make it collapse on my head. Okay, fair enough. I can't use the rope with the... <laughs> it just ends with the... Okay, so it sounds like I'm supposed to use the rope to get down there. That would make sense, but I need something to anchor it to. I wish it just gave me a little hint that I'm in the right direction. Like, if I use it on the holy say... I mean, I can't use it on the whole, I need something to anchor it to. If that is indeed what I'm supposed to do, which it sounds like it is. I don't have, like, a knife or anything like that that I could stab into the ground to anchor it to.
I don't know. But let's try the oil on the crank. I can't use a can of oil with the valve. Oh, what the fuck's it for then? All right, doctor. Do I have what you want or not? Hello, doctor. Okay, can you tell me again about the basement? Mm, chemical in the basement. Fill a syringe. Mm -hmm. Bring something back. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do I have what he wants? I don't think I do. Oil. Can of oil. Did I ask you for a can of oil? No, you asked me for a can of nothing. A can of mystery. Well, you weren't very specific about what you wanted. Perhaps you're not worthy to be my assistant. Fuck you, dick. Here, why don't you take a plane to the face? <laughs> Look, I'm a doctor, not a builder. I really don't need that. Fine. 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 The fuck do I do with a can of oil? Is that for the recipe? One pint of oil? This is industrial oil, though not, like, vegetable oil, which I'm assuming is what is intended to be used in the recipe. I have way too many items. This is too many items. Please take them away from me. Maybe there's some other doors I can enter that aren't actually locked. No, well, those are locked. Those aren't doors. Oh. Yep, that one's not locked either. Hi. Kitchen key. Woman. Oh, she hung herself. She reminds me of someone. Could it be that woman from reception? No. That's impossible. Sure it is. Sure. She's dead. It's a kitchen door key. Bananas! They've all gone black and rotten. I'm not hungry. Where have I seen this sofa before? I'll be damned if I know. You tell me. Dusty. White noise. That's all there is. I heard that if you, if you stare at white noise long enough, you can start seeing images flashing through it. Still, this isn't the time or place to check if it's true. It's too high. It's too high. Yeah, well, you're too high, Joe. It's locked. Clearly, this door doesn't want to be opened. Alright, I know this one's locked. The devil door. I believe this one's locked, too. Alright. Let's go to the kitchen.
Wait, what the hell? Why is my plank now here? And why is it saying the kitchen key is here? I do not understand this inventory system. In what way is the kitchen key here? What? Uh... I don't get this inventory system. But anyway, here it is. I was wondering where the hell I was. It's like, where's my character? Is this first person now? And it's so strange the change of. I'm not sure if it's a change in art style or just a change in. Like. Well, yeah, I guess it is a change in the art style. A lot of these rooms are colorful, but others like this are just black and white and feel totally dead. You know, some feel more hand drawn, more sketched. They're packed with kitchen stuff. I couldn't reach them. I guess the chef here is a very tall man. <laughs> yeah, actually, now that you mention... Holy shit. Look at this place. Either I'm tiny, which is unlikely because the rest of this place seems normal-sized, or this is a very large kitchen. I can just barely peer over the... the desks. It's a sink like any other. Do I look like a kitchen porter? Yes, you do, Joe. Douchebag. Oh, ice pick. Ooh, maybe I could anchor the rope to that. I could probably use it. It's sharp. Might be able to anchor the rope to it, maybe. Or I could stab someone in the, in the eye. That's an option. That's where all the cooking is done. I wonder what the, the health and safety inspectors would say. Hot plate cupboard. When this thing is plugged, plugged on, it, it keeps plates hot. What is that little green pixel up there? It's literally one pixel. Door to the walk-in fridge? Every hotel should have one of those. Ugh. Mannequin? What the hell's a mannequin leg doing in here? Yeah, what's a mannequin... mannequin's leg doing here? I don't know, but now I have one. Never knew I wanted a mannequin leg until now. It's a part of a mannequin. Apologies for the sound in the background of running water, by the way. Should go away soon. It's a whole pig. It must have been dead for a while because it stinks like hell. A frozen corpse. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Strange freezer. It looks more like a giant wardrobe than a freezer. I have a funny feeling that I might be holding some strange secret. It's cold to the touch, obviously. Well, yeah, but can you open it? It's a small door with a handle. What's inside? It's full of rock-solid ice. I can't get any ice with bare hands. Alright, well, that's what an ice pick is for. Oh, I don't want to use it with a freezer. There we go. I crushed some ice. So, now I have some ice. Do I have to pick it up? Okay, well, the ice pick is gone. Where's, where's my ice? Where's my ice? What 
the fuck did that accomplish? I don't get it. Okay, so the ice pick is gone. And I don't have the ice. There's a lot of crushed ice in there now. Okay. Do I scoop it up with a bowl? Now I've got a bowl full of crushed ice. Brilliant. Yeah, no shit. What? What am I supposed to do with that? Pour some oil in there? Huh. Okay. I poked it. It's definitely dead. Good job, Joe. Thank you for poking it. Do I need to, like, cut myself off some? Is he actually going to use the saw? Oh. Are you seriously telling me that wouldn't kill a human? Ew, fucking brain. Well, at least the saw's gone, so I know I don't need to use it for anything else. But yeah, he said it probably wouldn't kill a human. You just cut open a pig's head to get to its brain. I'm pretty sure it could kill a human. A pig's brain. Ew, I just like put it in my pocket. It stinks. Put it in the bowl? What do I do with a pig's brain? Ugh. Man, there's gotta be like a knife in here or something, right? Can I fill this with water? Nope. Put it in the oven? No. I tied the end of the rope around this plank. Okay, I was just thinking that might work. And then I can just put the plank over the hole. Bingo. Oh yeah. I was just remembering how to get there. Dining room, dining room, dining room. It's somewhere. Where's the hotspot? Where's the hotspot? There it is. 